Let me show you. Let me show you. So, if you clap in front of the temple, yeah, okay, you are going to hear one sound like a child bird. Yes. We don't know if it's uh, it was made on purpose uh, or it's only a coincidence. Okay. But according to the archaeologist, sounds like a quetzal bird. I never hear a quetzal. Okay. <laughs> because I, I just watch a quetzal in show, but I never hear. Heard one. The okay. Sound. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear how it's different? Uh. Wow. This is walls, not vertical position, concave. <coughs> okay, same in another side. Here you are going to see a small stone. Biggest stone. Another function, it was for, it was like a megaphone, it was like a channel for communication. Chief of Chichen Itza can communicate with their visitors in around one second. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the point. <coughs> the governor position is right here, and if he speaks, everybody must be able to hear him. 168 meters long, and he will be allowed to have a conversation with the royalty that is on the south part of this court. It should not, not, not necessary to speak too hard. Just listen to the clap. Hola. So we're gonna scream ha that means water in Maya. One, two, three, ha! There you go. Great. Everybody heard it? Yeah. most important temple here that is considered one of the new seven wonders of the world today mm -hmm. Kuku Khan's temple that's the name can you see look for Mayans this was like the scenery look look he's in the middle of the side can you see look around <laughs> and also it was like a calendar movement one steps in that same case. We have four sides. 91 times 4, what's the number? 364, yes? Plus the last one that is in the north side because we have an additional step up. 365 equals the days that we have in one year. <laughs> Some calendar. Yes? Mayans studied the Milky Way for more than 5,000 years. They were obsessed with the time. They want to know about the time like us, but they have no technology. So how was possible to know about the time? They studied the Milky Way for more than 5,000 years. And based on that, they orientate their temples in a different positions. Like this. This is orientated 20, uh, 17 degrees to northeast north part. Why? Because every 21st March and 22 September, you can see an important event that we know like equinox where you can see the reflection of the snake in this temple. If you look in your left, you go to the platform, you are going to see the rain into the north of Turkey. <laughs> Thank you.
el rey ya tumbaba la vida. Could be the mountain guy that we know like a week. Some some archaeologists says that this uh, the rain god. Look their eyes. His eyes. Can you see? In his eyes you can see tears. Can you see? Symbolizing water. in the high class. <laughs> Above the world you are able to see three uh, small temples. It was for reference or attitudes. Okay? And Mayans used to do the ritual as harvest. It's not a game. People believe that it's a game, but it's no it's, it's a ritual. They use a rubber ball like this size and they need to pass that rubber ball in that rings, seven meters up. There were seven players per team, two captains, okay? Six was playing here, captain it was running in the short level, and the same in another side. When they throw the ball in the floor, they need to rise with their hips. When they rise the ball, okay, they use shoulders, arms, hips, knee, and feet. And six against six, it was fighting for this ball like soccer players. They need to pass the ball to the captain. Captain is the only one that could score seven meters off. To support them, they use like a bat or rackets made in in wood. I need to show you the carving. The name of this ritual was poke the poke because poke the poke it was the sound that ball produced when they was playing. the animal to stronger that we have in this region in the Mayan area. Next to the jaguar you are going to see an eagle. Can you see? Talking about geography, we have not eagles in this region. Eagles came from the center of Mexico. The eagle is symbolizing when they mix their culture. Symbolizing the warrior caste. You are going to see in the mouth, like a hortongle. It's not a hortongle, we know like a voluta. Voluta is representation about communication. So they they have a deal. Mm -hmm. It symbolizes in one tree that we know like seba. Can you see that hand crash in the corner? The, the, the tree? Get closer, I need to show you. Maybe I want this souvenir, I want this advance, I want this souvenir. It's the Seba that I show you now in the in the handcraft. So that's the sacred ter is the sacred tree for Mayan people. Okay? It's completely flat. Do you think that it's original? No. This place it was three meters down low in the past. Hmm. Yeah? In the second period, my answer was like this. To the same level. We don't know how many slaves, how many times or how many stones they use to flex in this level. What's the proof? Mm -hmm. So you can uh, check that it's around 3 meters deep. Just imagine all this place in the same level. So that's the proof. Mm -hmm. 